I'm glad that so many of you joined us today. Basically, I'll tell you a little bit more about this new program that we have launched, right? Called Master Camps. So basically at Masters Union, we have the main flagship PGP program, right? All of you know about it, the postgraduate program in technology and business development, right? That's the main thing you see on the website. Now that program goes on for one year, right? 16 months, one year to 16 months. There's a four month internship, but teaching goes on for one year. Now in that one year, students go through 40 different courses. All right. Each student has to do 40 different courses to complete the program. Now, what we thought was that many people cannot do the program because, you know, they are working, they cannot leave their job. Um, they cannot, uh, you know, there may be still students or, or, you know, uh, maybe they have a family. So there are many reasons for which people cannot enroll in the PGP program. However, a lot of our courses are rated very, very highly by our students, right? The courses are rated very, very highly. And so what we thought was that we will take up five of our top courses, right? That our students rate the highest, and we will make those courses available to anyone who can, who wants to take the programs piecemeal. When I say piecemeal, I mean, not the entire program at once, but take up courses one by one, right? So that's why we started this concept of master cam to bring all the courses that our students in PGP do and make them available piecemeal one by one to students outside of the master's union ecosystem as well. Right. And so the first course that we have launched is also our highest rated course, right? Which is called the effective, uh, the, the master camp in effective leadership, effective leadership course is taught in, I think term three of master's union program where, uh, you know, captain Raghu Raman, who himself was of course, a president at Reliance, uh, a CEO at Mahindra, in fact, two of Mahindra's companies. And before that was a captain in the Indian army. You know, he brings all of his learnings, all of his experiences of leadership and has condensed it into this 120 hour course. Right. And, and, you know, a lot of students have said very different, unique things about this course, but the most interesting one that I find is that his 20 hour course is like a Netflix series, right? So how you binge watch a Netflix series, it's as entertaining as that. So it's, it's a mix between a course slash lecture and Netflix show, right? And, and, and of course, at the end of it, the point is that, you know, we all emerge as better leaders, right? Through doing case studies, through doing various role plays, um, right? He will even hypnotize you. Anyway, so lots of things we will cover in a quick presentation. But before we get started, are there any questions about the program itself, about um, you know, you know, I just want to know what the top questions in your minds are, and then I can answer those questions, you know, as I speak. And I see uh, a question about what is the fees that we will cover, of course. But any other questions, any other thoughts that you guys have? What are you guys wondering? Okay, what are the tangible benefits? All right. Brief background on Masters Union. All right. The duration and the mode. Okay. Anything else, guys? Bad strength this year for PGP TBM. Guys, so we will have four cohorts this year. That means 60 students in four cohorts. So that's, that's 240, but that's about PGP TBM. We're not talking about that today here. Any prerequisitions? Okay, cool. So, okay. I get your drift. All right. When does the next batch start? Of course. Okay. So we will get into all of that. I think the best way to start would be for me to show you the video. A lot of you might have already seen the video, but I think it'll be good for us to hear from Raghu Raman himself, right? What he has to say about the course, what are the various aspects of the course, what he will be teaching. So it's just a three, four minute video. Let me play it again. Okay. Just watch it. And you know, this will be uh, helpful in the next phase as well. How do combat leaders take their men into battle without promises of pay hikes, ESOPs or any other material incentive? How do entrepreneurs persuade people to leave safe corporate jobs and take huge pay cuts to join their small fledgling startup? We often assume that successful entrepreneurs, managers, executives, or even politicians are born leaders. We couldn't be further from the truth. Leadership, like any other tangible skill like programming or finance or accounting, can actually be developed. 
how to motivate your teams, how to exude authority, how to delegate. All of this is as much a skill as it's an art. And in this master camp, we will focus on and develop both of them. My name is Captain Raghuraman and I am a master at the Masters Union. I started my career in the army during which time I led teams in Siachen Glacier and also as a UN peacekeeper in Angola. After 12 years in the armed forces, I served as a CEO in three of Mahindra's companies and as a president at the Reliance Industries. I was also appointed by the government of India as the founding CEO of the National Intelligence Grid after the 26-11 Mumbai attacks. <laughs> During this 20-hour master camp, we will learn and practice leadership concepts completely hands-on through interactive and extremely engaging classes. For instance, during one of the modules, participants will be immersed into a combat simulation based on a true live military operation. In this exercise, they will have... So I just want to speak about this exercise. Uh, so the, in part of the course, in the very first or second session, he will actually hypnotize you, right? I mean it. So when the students took the class, Nobody realized where the three hours of the class went, right? Because what he will do is he'll ask you to close your eyes and he will ask you to imagine a scenario where you are on Siachen, right? And you have to take certain decisions about leadership, whether, you know, to, to save your troops or whether to continue marching on and the kind of dilemma that he creates in your mind is incredibly interesting, right? And I'm not kidding. I was watching that class from the outside. There were students who were crying while their eyes were closed. Right. That's how impactful this particular session was. Right. And we're going to make this available to everybody. Just listen to him further. One of the modules participants will be immersed into a combat simulation based on a true live military operation. In this exercise, they will have to make mission critical decisions within a defined framework. This experience is so immersive that students actually experience the trauma, the stress and learn. This about is what I was talking about. Important aspects of leadership the burden of command. We will learn how leaders use compelling storytelling to build an aspirational and can-do attitude in their teams. This is also very interesting. I don't know if you guys have, you know, many of you might have worked in the industry. Many of you uh, might have actually, you know, experienced this in your friend group or, you know, even in your college, that there are certain people who have this sense of leadership where without doing anything by just saying, by just speaking in a certain way and with their body language, they're able to really inspire and motivate people to do things, right? They just get everyone's adrenaline and running. And I think there's a certain art to it that you're born with, but also there's a certain science to it that you can learn, right? And this is what he sort of teaches in the course that, hey, listen, you know, when you should be speaking like this, you know, with this much energy and with this much um, composure. So, you know, he'll sort of very in an interesting way uh, train you, teach you, and even you'll get to practice as to how leaders become leaders. Right. And, and, you know, uh, I have seen some of the students and we will hear from the students as well, how their lives were changed because of this course, because of like a single, uh, you know, session within the course, right. And how they became better leaders, you know, and it's very interesting that, you know, because he comes from the army and in army, there is no, uh, way that an army general can motivate his employees through ESOPs or variable pay. Everyone's going to get the same pay, right? And still the army men are ready to even give their lives up for their generals, right? And you can, you're seeing this in Ukraine and you're seeing this in Russia as well, right? What is it that causes army men to even give up their lives for their leader, right? That is what you're going to try and decode in this. And what learnings, we can take this to the corporate. How can we get our team members also to give their lives for us? You know, so I think, I think it's very interesting what he how teaches. Combat leaders fire up their troops just before battles and how sports coaches inspire their teams to make unbelievable comebacks after a crushing first half of the game. Yeah. I think when he talks about the coaches also, it's a very interesting part of the course, right? Where he, he says, you know, what is it that coaches do in the halftime, right? Like, I mean, we have all seen the uh, Chuck the India speech, right? But he actually breaks down those kinds of speeches and helps us understand, you know, exactly how coaches do what they do. How coaches, you know, after you're like losing the game, how coaches renew this confidence in you. And what are the specific lines they speak, how they speak them, you know, how they sort of modulate their voice. All of those things are taught as a science. 
talk about leading without positional authority by building respect and creating a commanding presence, a presence that makes you stand out distinctly as a natural leader. You will learn how to leave an impact. You will understand the science of body language and how to use its full range, including voice modulation. This is like what this I was talking about. Right now, to inspire confidence and to evoke emotions in teams. We will learn design thinking by designing an assault rifle. We will learn how to lead people from different cultures. This is the assault rifle part. I think somebody mentioned. Uh, this is actually quite cool, right? So basically, like sometimes you have to assemble the assault rifle in a very short period of time, right? And so you will actually compete with your classmates on how you can build this assault rifle as quickly as possible, right? So if any of you guys can actually come to the class on campus, we will actually get to do it in person as well. But an incredibly interesting way to sort of teach, uh, you know, the entire concept of leadership. It's 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 incredible how he will make the classroom come alive, right? We have seen this with so many students. And we will learn from live case studies as to why sometimes because of. So I think I think we have heard from him, you know, enough, and you have seen this video. Let me move on and you know show you what the students have to say. Right? These are real students from the PGB batch who got to take his course. In one of his initial lectures. Captain Raghuraman said something really profound, and that stayed with me. He said that leadership is not about choosing between right and wrong. In fact, more often than not, leadership is about choosing between two rights or two wrongs. I never really thought about it that way. The three things that really stood out for me were number one, captain's communication presence. He has a magnetic aura and a style of storytelling that left us spellbound after all of his lectures. Number two. Captain's ability to explain complex ideas in simple words. He has a gift of tying snippets from everyday real life situations with complex principles of leadership. This really helps in creating those hooks in the mind, which help the learning stick longer. Last but not the least, Captain's attention to detail. One of the most wonderful aspects of Captain's lectures is that they are not lectures; they are experiences that he carefully curates. My name is Prashasti. And I'm part of the founding batch of the PGP TBM at Masters Union. You get the concept. There's a there's a question here, you know, uh, from Rajshri. And actually, I agree with you. She says that to compare army troops with corporate employees is not the right analogy. I completely agree with you. It's not the right analogy, right? However, I think there is something that the corporates can learn from the army troops um, and from the way the army troops function, right? I'm not comparing them. I don't think they're comparable. You're right, but there's something to be learned. Uh, i think which is what captain does um oh sorry uh my my fault on that but i think i think you get my point in one of his initial lectures um so that was prashasti right and she spoke about the you know how he makes the classroom come alive uh, shashwat is also another student captain raguraman's series of sessions were by far the most thought provoking classes that i attended here at masters union which is really saying something He brought with him such a unique blend of experiences, from serving in the Indian Army to operating at the highest echelons of corporate India, to spearheading massive initiatives in, for the Indian government. If there's one person who's truly seen it all, heard it all, done it all, it's Captain Raman. Considering that the course was on leadership, I think it would be difficult to find a man more suited to teaching it. Captain Raman shared with us actual war stories straight from the battlefield and illustrated through them. the leadership is really about the burden of command rather than any of the glamorous elements that tend to attract people towards it we study the various techniques that the indian army employs to foster camaraderie and cohesion between the troops and the thought processes behind these techniques captain raman walked us through what it meant to operate in a wuka world and how the global lands determine our soldiers victory in war organization and how to build a culture in the workplace that celebrates and empowers the people in it This is at the best. You can find these videos on the website as well. I just wanted to show you a few Captain of them. Captain Raghuraman's. This is a short one, I think. Captain yeah. Raghuraman's course has so far been one of the most energy personified classroom sessions that we've ever attended. The kind of energy with which he delivers every single lecture, from beginning to end, no matter what mood you come, the safety foundation that you have to take. But you're deciding. Anyway, so I hope you guys will watch all these videos, yeah, before enrolling into the course because I think, you know, if you hear from the students directly exactly how the course is structured, I think there is nothing better that you know better research that you can do.
Yeah, so I don't think I have to tell you guys, you know, who he is. Um, you know, he's he's been the CEO, of course, of First Choice, which was Mahindra's uh, automotive company, um, and then of course later at Mahindra Defense Systems as well. Uh, I think last he was uh, the president at Reliance, uh, U.S. peacekeeper in Angola. Uh, you know, bunch of other things, right? And you can see him on LinkedIn. You can see him on YouTube. Um, he's done lots of interesting things, um, right? So uh, essentially, at the end of the day, you know, you were asking for what are the tangible outcomes, right? And I think, you know, if I have to to you know list them down, I think the first thing is that, you know, the way you learn accounting, right? Nobody is born accountant, right? They learn accounting over time. Similarly, I think a lot of us feel that leadership cannot be taught. That you you are just a born leader, like you know Narendra Modi is a born leader. No, leadership can be taught, and I think that's the main. uh tangible outcome right you can definitely expect yourself uh to be a better leader going in so i think i think that is the most tangible thing you will take from the program uh there are a few other things right you're going to be learning in a cohort of just 60 students um diksha no this is not the introductory session this is just an info session um but you know you will be learning in a group of just 60 students and when you are learning in a group of 60 students what happens is that you also become friends with each other because all of the assignments etc are collaborative right you'll be working with each other um uh, you know on the assignments on the projects on the case studies uh and all those assignments are also very interesting right so as you work with your peer group you will have formed this new network right just like you have college friends you'll have master camp friends as well So I think this tight knit cohort and this community that you'll build is another tangible takeaway um, that you'll have. Most importantly, yeah, this is not an online course, right? This is not an online course where everything is recorded. Everything is live and real time, right? Uh, and if you, I mean, we are very open. We'll be very happy if you guys want to even come to campus and take the courses from campus so that you guys can meet each other. But online, you guys can take this course in a real life. scenario right it is not going to be recorded in any way so you can ask him questions it's only 60 students you you know he will learn about you guys you will learn about him um and it'll be incredibly interactive just like this session um and you know he 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 puts a lot of effort in every student i've realized like once he takes responsibility of a class he'll make sure that you're satisfied you're happy and that you take some tangible outcomes right so if you don't understand something you can keep asking him he'll even host office hours where you can meet him one on one right so all of those things are sort of um you know pluses of the course right so we spoke about how it's a 20 hour course uh, i told you about the office hours um the skill topics we discussed on the video on the testimonial videos as well um and of course right because this is leadership and one of the main aspects of leadership is speaking uh you will actually be doing two speaking projects as well right where you'll be preparing speeches where you'll be figuring out your body language um and where you'll be sort of trying to build impact uh, through speech i won't go into the details of the curriculum uh, you know some things should be left to the course as well um but you know the details are on the website i would definitely recommend you go check it out and see you know which are your favorite modules and then make sure that you guys you know pay extra attention during those modules um but i think you know overall this is a course about how to become a better leader right and anything that goes into it right from body language to speaking uh, to content to matter all of those things will be covered here right um so the first session i'll talk about which is the siachen session that i told you about where you have to shut your eyes imagine you're uh, a leader on the top of a mountain and in a war zone how do you make decisions right how do you handle the burden of command um uh, session 2 is talking about how you lead a team where in a scenario where the world is falling apart right so when covid struck the world was falling apart so how do you make sure that your team and everybody sort of stabilize right how do you bring everyone together on the same page and then sort of lead them from there on right without creating panic chaos all of those things art of storytelling i think this is the most important thing i think leadership is equal to storytelling right if you're a good storyteller you're a good leader right because at the end of the day when you're speaking to people you know when when prime minister speaks or when even for example when the ukrainian president was speaking today i don't know if you guys saw that speech he spoke about his story growing up in ukraine right and his story about how 
the Soviet Union collapsed and you know how his life sort of moved on from there. His entire speech to the United Nations was actually just his own story. And that was enough to get common Ukrainians, right? Like people like you and me to come on the street and fight for him, right? And that's really the art of storytelling that we'll try to master in this course. And of course, you know, many other similar sessions, I will not go into details of each, right? I'm going to stop here um, and just talk about the specifics of the mechanics, the logistics of the course, right? So the course costs approximately 80,000 rupees, right? In master's union, we have 40 courses in total. And the total fees end to end is around 30 lakhs. So if you look at it, each course at master's union also costs 80,000 rupees, right? So it's the same cost that you would bear if you were enrolled in master's union full time, right? So the cost of the program is exactly the same. It's not different from the main PGP program. And uh, Weber, when does the course start exactly? What is the date? So we are planning to start in the first week of April. The first week of April. Yes. So it, it totally depends on you know when we can get time from him. Uh, but it'll be the first week of April. And uh, we'll make sure that whatever schedule we use, it'll be on the weekends probably. And we'll make sure that it works for you guys, right? It'll, it'll either be afternoon or evening. Um, you know, and we'll do a polling before we finally schedule the course as to what schedule works for everybody. So yeah, I'm going to stop here guys, and then we'll take it from here. All right. Thanks for that. So, uh, you know, now we'll just take questions uh, and any discussions, anything that you guys want to talk about, um, you know, we can, we can cover here guys. We have, uh, we have many participants. I'm sure there are many questions. Uh, I deliberately did not cover everything because I thought, you know, this will come up in questions. So please ask away. Prashant, it's going to be an online program, right? So it's online and live, but you're more than welcome to come to campus and take the program from campus as well, right? So you can meet your classmates. Yes. So Abhinav, that's why it's a hybrid session. You can either come to class or you can take it online. It's totally up to you. Taranjit, you can, uh, so basically, you know, at the time that the course is going on, you can just come to the campus. Our campus is in Gurgaon. Abhinav, yes. So master's union is a business school in Gurgaon, right? And Raghu Raman is a teacher at master's union. So he teaches this course to the main master's union students, the program, the PGP program, but he's also opened this course up to anyone outside, right? So you can actually come to the campus and take the course, or you can take it online. It's totally up to you. And when you come to the campus, he might be there on campus or he might not be, but you can at least meet the friends that you're with and build that community, do the projects in person with each other. Dundiraj, is there a scholarship? Are there scholarships available? Yes, there are scholarships available. So you can, you know, once you apply, you know, we will inform you about your scholarship. Uh, Abhinav, yes, classes will happen only on weekends and the timings will be fixed in consultation with you. Sandeep, the course will probably run for a month, right? So it'll run uh, for two hours on each Saturday, Sunday of the month, right? So eight Saturday, Sundays, two hours each, approximately 16 to 20 hours. Prashant, the program is suitable for any age group. So think about it, right? In the master's union program, the students uh, range from anywhere between 21 years old to 44 years old, and everyone benefits equally from the program. There is no age to be a leader. Raji, yes, uh, there are scholarships available. So when you apply for the program, once we have the interview, that's when we will speak about the scholarships and we we'll let you know if uh, you know you qualify for one, but it's going to be dependent on the interview that you do after you apply for the program. Vivek, uh, around 15%, but that's PGP TBM. Let's not confuse. Taranjit, yes, there is an admissions process. Um, so once you apply for the program, we will have you schedule, uh, we will schedule an interview for you uh, with one of our teammates where we'll make sure that you understand the program, that you're the right fit for the program, uh, and we'll understand your scholarship requirements. And from thereafter, you'll get your acceptance or rejection, and then we'll take it forward because we only have 60 spots, guys. This is a program with only 60 spots, not 61, right? So the, because of that, we want to make sure that people who apply for the program are people who are genuinely interested and will genuinely benefit from the program. So it is not open to anybody. You have to apply. You have to get in. Abhinav, is everyone naturally eligible for the scholarship? No, Abhinav will be a merit-based scholarship, right? So when we interview, um, you know, we will understand your needs and thereafter we will let you know if you have gotten a scholarship or not. Raji, yes, you, we have a teaching assistants and we have Captain Raghuraman himself also offering office hours uh, where you can go to him for mentoring. Post completion of the course, you'll have the community running, 
right? And you can post questions there, and I'm sure Captain Raghuraman would be very happy to answer those questions um, as and when those questions come, um, right? So that community is where all of the mentoring and all of the you know the, the, the fellow students will sort of live. Yes, I think Nandiraj is an application fees. There is an application fees of five hundred rupees. Vivek, is he working uh, full time with Masters Union? No, he's not working full time with Masters Union. You know, he has his other engagements as well, but he spends good amount of time with us. That's also the 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 system of Masters Union. We would not be able to have you know the kind of masters that we do if we uh, had them working full time with us. You know, they can't leave their full time jobs. Yes, Dundira, this is a certification course. Yes, you will get a certificate, and if you were to join Masters Union in the future, you will get a placement credit also uh, for this course. Abhinav, you have to pay the eighty k after you are selected, of course. Uh, Aniket, yes, there will only be one batch of sixty students. That's correct. Uh, Vivek has a good question. Yeah, Vivek, a good question. I I'll just read it out loud. In Vivek's opinion, leadership is a skill that we can learn, but it is not like a hard technical skill that we can learn online. Because some things like body language, speaking on a stage, etc., can be best learned offline. As mentioned on the website, the design of the curriculum is four weeks, five hours each weekend. My question is, wouldn't it be better if we get twenty hours on campus straight so we can take leave and attend them in person? So Vivek, we actually offer that option as well. Uh, some of our courses are uh, like that, where over a week you just take a leave and you come and spend time with us and take the course on campus. But in our experience, we haven't found it to be too difficult or too different because what happens is that when you have that week break, you can actually practice a lot of the things that you learn over the weekend, right? And also there will be so many assignments and interactions and activities that you need time in the middle to work on those assignments, right? So we believe that this weekend system actually works out quite well. Uh, Rachi, how many batches do you have each year? Uh, Rachi, totally depends on uh, the amount of time that. Captain Raghuraman can give to us. We would love to host him for two, three, four batches, but he's a busy man. So whenever he gives us time, is when we, uh, you know, we will be more than happy to schedule it again. But he's a busy man. So um, I think for the next few months, this is the only cohort. Abhinav, deadline to apply. Webof, can you talk about the deadline to apply, please? Fifth of March uh, is the round one deadline, and then twenty uh, ninth of March is the round two deadline. Got it. Uh, Vivek, if you attend this program, will you need to do it again if you join PGP? No, you will not have to. Arun Kumar, may I know the number of days to this particular course? This program will run for essentially eight days over a month, right? So Saturday, Sunday, so four Saturdays and four Sundays over one month. No, so the current price is for round one. In round two, the price will increase. It always happens like that because uh, in round two we have less time to go through the application process. So round one is the pricing right now that you see. However, we'll have to repeat the deadline. So the round one deadline is seventeenth of March. Round two deadline is twenty eighth of March. Uh, Sandeep, you mentioned about placement. How does that work? Okay. So when I said placement, I actually meant credit placement. So if you come to Masters Union, you don't have to take this course again. So that's called a placement credit. But by the way, if you guys want to be involved in Masters Union placements, if you guys want to change your job, right? If you take this course, you will also qualify. For the Masters Union placement drives, right? That go on on our on our campus. Otherwise, so you can uh, you know make use of that if you guys are interested. I don't know how many of you would be interested in that. Ishan Goel, yes, as I mentioned, you can sit in for Masters Union placements, right? If we think that you're a good fit for any of the placement sessions going on on Masters Union, we will push you. Um, that's part of the reason that Masters Union is successful is because of placements, guys, right? You would have seen the placements of our PGB TBM batch. um and also of our kpmg batch you will hear about it very soon so um, all our master camps come uh with access to masters union placement cell vivek the scholarship percentage would either be 25% or 50% uh, and the criteria would completely be the need that you have and you'll be asked to prove that need uh, and the merit Yes, Taranjit. Uh, so, if you do this course and if you join PGP after, you will not have to repeat this course. That is the only benefit. Uh, yes, you will get a recording of this session. Sure, Shamba. Uh, we can we can arrange for that. Awesome. I think I think we have covered everything. Webber. Um, so Vivek has a question. Vivek, I think you should apply first and then have a conversation with our team. Right. Um, you know, it will depend on various different things. We don't know you. We don't know your profile. So once we know that, better. we can figure out how scholarships might be able to help you awesome
so i think uh, i think we'll we'll stop here uh, webov i think uh, if there are any other questions feel free to email us webov can you just write down the email address as well to reach out to you okay. and um, then we can take it from there taranjit if you have already applied for the course the interviews uh, i think will start right after the round 1 deadline awesome guys awesome i'll i'll take your leave and uh, i hope you guys found this engaging please make sure you look at the website go through the course details before you guys apply uh, and of course before the interview as well right uh, make sure you know everything about the course awesome guys thank you so much